Hey team, welcome to this teaching video on Tinkercad. The purpose of this training is to explain to you how to use the Scribble tool. So over on the right hand side over here, it says Scribble as long as you're in basic shapes. And when you bring that Scribble over, you have the ability to scribble anything on the screen. And then over here, you get to see a small thumbnail of what your project would look like. So if you are trying to design something, but you don't feel like Tinkercad is capable of letting you create exactly what you want to create, you can see up here over in the right hand side how whatever model design you want has now been created for you. Down here, it says done. And then here you are with the scribble that you created and all of the standard adjustments that you normally have access to, you can come in and make any of those adjustments. If you want to make it taller, if you want to make it more narrow, or if you want to cut it. So if you like it, but maybe you want to take some of it away, you can bring in this hollowed out space group these two pieces together or select them and then allow them to get grouped and now a portion of it will get cut away. You also have the ability to go back into something that you have scribbled and you can make adjustments to that original scribble. Because I've sliced off a portion of this, it won't let me go back in and, and make adjustments to that one. But if your scribble has been created, so let's say for instance, you want to produce your signature as a scribble. I'm gonna click done. And then here you've got that signature. So you wanna put it on a plaque, you wanna use it for decorative purposes. Right here where it says edit scribble, it allows you to go in if you wanna create some last minute adjustments to your project, then you can have that added in. I'm going to click done right here, and here I am back in my project. It will not look at these, um, the first portion and the second portion, as two independent pieces. Uh, when I go back in, that second piece is still attached to the first. But I do have the ability to go in and use that eraser if I want to erase things in here. So I can't really go back in history very well and take back that first beginning portion, but... I have the ability to do that. Now, instead of using the eraser, if I wanted to go back in history, I could go back, but I'm only limited by what has been experienced in this window at this current time. I can't go back in history the first time I was here or the second or the third or the fourth. Like All I have is this session right here and then whatever edits are available here. I also have the capacity to add pieces it almost functions like a circle, if you will, and I can add pieces here. It's sort of interesting. It's hard for me to explain what that looks like. And then over here, this would be more of an erasure. If I want to erase something that's circle-like-ish, I can select pieces and then remove them. So if this piece were too long, I could come in and remove it. If this piece were too large, I could come in and remove it. So you can make adjustments to your original design if you want to. Significant adjustments, even though the back, the history button won't let you. You can either add sections or remove sections. And then done. And then here's what I have based on that signature. I also have the capacity like I normally would if I wanted to add this to something. I could come in and bring a, an additional shape here. I could select this, use that cone at the top. And then for example, if I wanted to design a desk plaque of some kind, I'm congratulating someone on something or I want to identify that this desk belongs to them. And maybe I wanted to use their signature as a tool, then it can stick out and there is their nameplate. So team, thanks so much for watching this really quick video on how to use that scribble feature. Have a great day.